Petra, which means stone in ancient Greek, is originally known to its inhabitants as Rakhmo, is a historical and archaeological city in southern Jordan. Petra lies around Jabal al Madba in a basin surrounded by mountains which form the eastern flank of the Arabah Valley that runs from the Dead Sea to the Gulf of Aqaba. The area around Petra has been inhabited from as early as 7000 BC and the Nabataeans might have settled in what would become the capital city of their kingdom as early as the 4th century BC. However, archaeological work has only discovered evidence of Nabataean presence dating back to the 2nd century BC, by which time Petra had become their capital. The Nabataeans were nomadic Arabs who invested in Petra's proximity to the trade routes by establishing it as a major regional trading hub. The trading business gained the Nabataeans considerable revenue and Petra became the focus of their wealth. The Nabataeans were accustomed to living in the barren deserts unlike their enemies and were able to repel attacks by taking advantage of the area's mountainous terrain. They were particularly skillful in harvesting rainwater, agriculture, and stone carving. Petra flourished in the first century AD when its famous al ghazna structure, believed to be the mausoleum of Nabataean king Aritas IV, was constructed and its population peaked at an estimated 20,000 inhabitants. Although the Nabataean kingdom became a client state of the Roman Empire in the first century BC, it was only in 106 AD that it lost its independence. Petra fell to the Romans, who annexed Nabataea and renamed it as Arabia Patria. Petra's importance declined as sea trade routes emerged and after an earthquake in 363 destroyed many structures. In the Byzantine era, several Christian churches were built, but the city continued to decline, and by the early Islamic era, it was abandoned except for a handful of nomads. It remained unknown to the world until it was rediscovered in 1812 by Johann Ludwig Burckhardt. Access to the city is through a 1.2 kilometer long gorge called the Sikh, which leads directly to the Kazna. Famous for its rock cut architecture and water conduit system, Petra is also called the Rose City because of the color of the stone from which it is carved. It has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1985. UNESCO has described Petra as one of the most precious cultural properties of man's cultural heritage. In 2007, al Kazna was voted one of the new seven wonders of the world. Petra is a symbol of Jordan, as well as Jordan's most visited tourist attraction. Tourist numbers peaked at 918,000 in 2010, but there followed a temporary slump during the political instability generated by the Arab Spring, which affected countries surrounding Jordan.
visitor number subsequently increased and reached a record-breaking 1.1 million tourists in 2019, marking the first time that the figure rose above the 1 million mark. Tourism in the city was crippled by the COVID-19 pandemic as visitors' numbers plummeted to zero since March 2020. The Jordanian government has authorized excavations in front of the treasury to make use of the site's emptiness. Pliny the Elder and other writers identify Petra as the capital of the Nabataean kingdom and the center of their caravan trade. Enclosed by towering rocks and watered by a perennial stream, Petra not only possessed the advantages of a fortress but controlled the main commercial route which passed through it to Gaza in the west, to Basra and Damascus in the north, to Aqaba and Bluescom on the Red Sea, and across the desert to the Persian Gulf. Excavations have demonstrated that it was the ability of the Nabataeans to control the water supply that led to the rise of the desert city, creating an artificial oasis. The area is visited by flash floods, but archaeological evidence shows that the Nabataeans controlled these floods by the use of dams, cisterns, and water conduits. These innovations stored water for prolonged periods of drought and enabled the city to prosper from its sale. In ancient times, Petra might have been approached from the south on a truck leading across the plain of Petra around Jabal Harun, the location of the tomb of Aaron said to be the burial place of Aaron, brother of Moses. Another approach was possibly from the high plateau to the north. Today, most modern visitors approach the site from the east. The impressive eastern entrance leads steeply down through a dark narrow gorge in places only three to four meters wide, called the Seek or Shaft, a natural geological feature formed from a deep split in the sandstone rocks and serving as a waterway flowing into Wadi Musa. The city center is at the end of the narrow gorge, the Sik, stands Petra's most elaborate ruin, popularly known as al Kazna, or the treasury, hewn into the sandstone cliff. While remaining in remarkably preserved condition, the face of the structure is marked by hundreds of bullet holes made by the local Bedouin tribes that hoped to dislodge riches that were once rumored to be hidden within it. A little further from the treasury, at the foot of the mountain called En Major, is a massive theater positioned so as to bring the greatest number of tombs within view. At the point where the valley opens out into the plain, the site of the city is revealed with striking effect. The theater has been cut into the hillside and into several of the tombs during its construction. Rectangular gaps in the seating are still visible. Almost enclosing it on three sides are rose-colored mountain walls divided into groups by deep fissures and lined with knobs cut from the rock in the form of towers. 
The Petra Pool and Garden Complex is a series of structures within the city center. Originally said to be a market area, excavations at the site have allowed scholars to identify it as an elaborate Nabataean garden which included a large swimming pool, an island pavilion, and an intricate hydraulic system. In 2016, archaeologists using satellite imagery and drones discovered a very large, previously unknown monumental structure whose beginnings were tentatively dated to about 150 BCE, the time when the Nabataeans initiated their public building program. It is located outside the main area of the city at the foot of Jebel en Nemer and about 0.5 miles south of the city center but is facing east, not towards the city, and has no visible relationship to it. The structure consists of a huge 184 by 161 feet platform with a truly monumental staircase all along its eastern side. The large platform enclosed a slightly smaller one Tapped with a comparatively small building, 28 by 28 feet, which was facing east toward the staircase. The structure second in size only to the monastery complex probably had a ceremonial function of which not even a speculative explanation has yet been offered by the researchers. Petra is a three-hour drive from Amman and two hours from the Red Sea port of Aqaba. Buses run the route daily along with organized tours and private taxis. The Jordan Trail passes through Petra, allowing hikers to connect with Dana or Wadi Ram. Reducing Petra to a single day trip is a common mistake. Remember that Petra spreads out for over a hundred square miles, four times the size of Manhattan. While donkeys, camels, and horse buggies can hasten travel time between highlights, most of Petra's sites are best reached on foot.